welcome to Turn Writing Fear Around Podcast, Simple Methods to Overcome Fear and Start Writing Again. I'm Elise Hittinger, and I'm the host for your journey to courage. This is episode 47, Holy Safety Net. (laughs) I, you know, when I had my accident, I had no safety net, none. There was nothing I did before I got on that horse that kept me from having the accident. There was no safety net whatsoever. So after I had my accident, guess what? My subconscious took over and it gave me a safety net. And that safety net was trail riding anytime outside the arena Anytime a horse lifts its head, it's going to flip over on you. So you need to take care of yourself. Don't trail ride. Don't step outside the arena. And get off if the horse raises its head. It built that safety net. That was my subconscious that did that. So fear became my safety net. And what I started to realize is there were so many holes in that safety net because fear doesn't keep us safe. The more we cling to that fear, the less safe we are and the less we are able to really soar in our life. We should be able to fly. We should be able to do anything we want. We should be able to ride our horses anywhere. So let's talk about replacing that fear safety net. We don't need a fear safety net. We need a courage safety net. And there's a few things we can do very easily. The first one is preparation. We can prepare. We don't have to wait for something to happen. There were so many signs that I should not have gotten on that horse. Yes, there were a lot of signs, but I got on anyway. And I was, I just wasn't aware enough. I got safety equipment. I now ride in a life jacket. I have always ridden with a helmet, although that day I didn't have a helmet on, but I do ride with a helmet. And I even now have a double neck strap so I can hang on to the neck. So if the horse does raise its head, I have something to hang on to. And if the horse did happen to rear, it's not going to pull him over backwards on me because I'm not pulling on the reins. Anyway, there's things we can do to plug the holes in our safety net. And fear is not the answer. We need to just jump over that fear and put the things in place to give us the courage. That's how we plug our safety net. We plug it with all the things that fill us up with courage. And once again, I know I've talked about this a lot lately, but we can reset back to before the fear. I've helped a couple people do this recently that were afraid to ride, and they're now riding and enjoying their horses again. And yes, it's... It's putting together a safety net that works for you. It's preparation. It's not clinging to fear. Those are the those are the main three things we can do. But if you want to reset and see what it looks like before the fear, I'd love to help you with a hypnotherapy session. They don't take that long. They're fairly easy. You're always in control. So I know a lot of people think when you're in hypnotherapy or you have no control, but that's not true. So if you'd be interested, I'll put a link in the chat to a free consultation. You can check it out. Let me know if it's something that you'd like to try. Anyway, you guys have a beautiful day and put courage to fix your safety net holes. See you guys.